Welcome back to MacBrew. I'm your host, Max Patterson. Today we're going to be cutting some music, so making sure that your music works with your edit. I've got my short film here called Multiplayer, and so I've got some nice music here from Sounds Great. And you can pick this up for free at productioncrate.com. So what you can do is just go into their productioncrate.com site, then I went on Electronic under their Music and Sound Effects section, and then this one's called Rev. You can have three free downloads a day, or if you use their Pro membership, you're allowed unlimited downloads, as well as 4K footage and all sorts of amazing other stuff. So if you're interested in some music or visual effects or whatever you like, um, they've got it all here, and it's really, really good. So our first technique today is a fade. This is a very, very simple technique. All right. All right, and let's say we want to finish it here. We're going to start fading it down. So I'm just going to go B, uh, B for blade, and then I make a cut here. I'm just going to delete this one, or for now I'll, I'll just mute it. So that's V for disable. And then if you look, there's a wee um, there's a wee toggle here, so I can pull this back here, and that's a nice fade. Now there's a few different things that you can do. You can do a um, an S curve a linear and a plus and minus 3 dB. I quite like linear, it's a constant, um, you'll see it has a flat edge, so that's a constant down, otherwise plus 3 dB is a nice option as well, so that it fades a little bit sharper towards the end. Uh, but I'm going to use linear for this example, and I'm just going to pull it a little bit further, so we have a little bit more into it, and let's listen to this. <laughs> Nice, and then we've got a nice introduction into our piece. So that's the first type, which is called a fade. Moving on to the next technique, which is cutting on the beat. So what we're going to do is just listen out, and um, I've got a wee marker tool. If you press M, you can do a wee marker tool, and that's quite useful for cutting. If you have multiple clips, you can go through, but I'm just going to listen and click on marker every time I hear a beat. So I'm going to go... So that's enough that I need to go off. I've got four marker beats here. Now they're not going to be perfectly on time, but I'm able to zoom in and find exactly where that is. Uh, but as you can see, I've got the first four bars here. So this is a perfect place to cut here. So I'm just going to listen to this part again. So it's pretty much just on here. You can actually see the spike where the bass kicks in. So I'm just going to cut right there and mute this section and just because it's a little bit sharp I'm going to add just a little bit of a fade there but it's not a fade that you'll really notice and then zoom out and I'm just going to listen to this and it's perfect it finishes really nicely if we listen to the last part again and we've got it perfectly cutting on the beat there Moving on to our final technique, and that's a borrowed ending. So what I'm not going to need to do is scan right to the end of the music here. I'm just going to disable this V again to find this last part. Um, and I'm just going to listen to the last, last little bit here. So I'm actually going to use, I think I'll use this part here. Yeah, that's lovely. Sweet. So I'm going to cut there and Control X to cut. Um, and then I'm going to bring it over here. We already worked out what our fourth beat is, so I'm going to make that same cut again. So that's B for blade, and then Control V for paste. Uh, and then we have that music there. I'm going to make another cut here because this is really long. V again to re-enable. So I'm just going to hear. So we need to find our third beat, so go through here. So you can actually hear it just finishes on this one. Uh, hear it for yourself. One, two, one. So we're going to cut here, B again, and take our borrowed ending in. Now because borrowed endings will never fit completely perfectly, we're going to do a little bit of a crossfade. So that means we're fading in and fading out from both pieces. So I'm going to bring in this toggle here, and again on this side. And let's listen to that. 
actually works pretty well. So I, I'll do a few more adjustments, but we'll listen to that. But otherwise, that's a great introduction to your short film. If you need to cut uh, before the credits or you need to cut um, per shot, you can use these techniques. So a fade is really good for easing it out, having a really slow drawn out feel. Cutting on the beat's really good for an abrupt grab your attention feel and a borrowed ending is a really nice complete satisfying feel. So thanks so much for watching guys. This has been Mac Brew and I'll catch you in the next video.